What is the secret behind Iran's precision guided ballistic missiles? Fiber optic gyroscope. How does it work? For at least the last 10 years, Iran has made quantum leaps in improving the accuracy of its ballistic missiles so that it was able to attack the Americans in Iraq on January 8, 2020, hitting targets within the Al Assad airbase in western Iraq with exemplary accuracy, meaning with a circular error probability, CP, of less than 10 meters. Proving definitively how accurate its ballistic missiles are, based on real world data. Some of the 11 hits were captured by a U.S. drone flown over the airbase and shown here. But what is the reason for this amazingly high accuracy of Iran's ballistic missiles compared to the old Scud missiles, which had a CP of more than one kilometer or later Iranian missiles in the first decade of the 2000s? The answer lies in the manufacturing and deployment of highly sensitive gyroscopes that turn Iran's missiles into a lethal weapon without the need for external guidance a process that started decades ago in Iran and finally found its end in small high-precision optical gyroscopes. Optical gyroscopes such as fiber-optic gyroscopes, FOGs, and ring laser gyroscopes, RLGs, are typically used when global positioning systems, GPS, signal access is denied or may be jammed or microelectromechanical systems, MEMS, based gyroscopes are insufficiently precise. Fiber optic gyroscopes are inertial sensors that can be used for navigation, control and guidance of the vehicles, satellites, robots or missiles. FOGs, essentially all gyroscopes, measure the angular rotation rate around a fixed axis with respect to an inertial space. Comparing to other types of gyroscopes, FOGs have several unique advantages. They offer high reliability, long lifetime, rapid turn on time and no moving parts. Thanks to these superiorities, FOGs are widely used in civilian applications such as autonomous vehicles, as well as military applications such as air, naval, land and space vehicles. FOGs, and other optical gyros such as RLGs, exploit the Saniac effect which is the difference in time of flight for counter-propagating light in a circular optical path caused by rotational acceleration. Light propagating clockwise through a fiber loop will have the same optical path length as light that propagates counterclockwise if the loop is at rest. However, if the loop is rotated while the light is propagating through the fiber, the beginning and ending points of the loop are shifted during the optical propagation, with the result that one beam will have farther to travel than the other, depending on which direction the loop is rotated. The path difference can be measured as a phase difference by interfering the beams from the two directions. Therefore, a fiber loop can be used as a rotation sensor. Based on the measured phase difference for each axis, a correction to adjust the current trajectory to the predetermined trajectory of the missile can be calculated and applied. In order to increase the precision of a fog loop, the optical fiber is wound many times to form a coil. In extremely high accuracy applications, several kilometers of fiber may be used in each coil. For each axis, a FOG uses a transmitter to generate a beam of light into a fiber. FOGs are implemented in both open-loop and closed-loop configurations. It should be noted that available open-loop FOG technology is not considered an option for most navigation applications, due to performance limited typically to the order of 1 to 10 degrees per hour. This may be suitable for platform stabilization, but is not typically suitable for precision navigation applications in GPS-denied environments. Open-loop fogs are gradually being replaced by MEM solutions which can achieve similar levels of accuracy at greatly reduced cost, size, weight, and power. In high-performance systems, a closed feedback loop is formed in which the light is split into two ceridine modulated beams using a lithium niobate phase modulator. These modulated beams are fed into opposite ends of the polarization maintaining fiber coil loop and counter propagate. The returning light passes through the phase modulators again and is then recombined and detected. The phase modulators serve to move the interfered signal away from noise, enhancing the sensitivity of the FOG. By detecting the interference fringes, the fog measures rotation in that axis, and by combining all three axes, complete information on attitude and space is obtained. 
Fogs typically use a low coherence optical source so that noise induced from multiply reflected light as well as Rayleigh backscatter and nonlinear effects are reduced. The use of a lithium niobate fog modulator employing the annealed proton exchange process creates an inherently strong polarizer which is ideal for interferometric sensing applications. The lithium niobate device also has extremely high bandwidth, approximately 1 GHz, which permits a closed-loop electronics implementation which maintains a fixed-phase offset on a single interference fringe that is synchronized with the light transit time through the fiber coil. This form of closed-loop operation greatly improves the precision of the gyroscope by linearizing its operation and eliminating many of the effects of deficiencies in the optical circuit. Previously, the relatively large size and high cost of the optical components required to realize a closed-loop fog, transceiver source and detector elements, lithium niobate optical phase modulators and polarization maintaining fiber, has limited their use to mostly the high-performance applications and low volumes, such as spacecraft and aircraft navigation and attitude control. A modern fog combines the transmitter and receiver functions into one integrated transceiver package for each axis, as shown in this figure. A complete fog system usually includes three sensors aligned with pitch, roll, and yaw. Similarly, the splitter and phase modulator pairs are combined into one modulator package for each axis. Current development efforts are focused on reducing the size and cost of this assembly, while maximizing sensitivity and immunity to shock, vibration, and temperature extremes. A fog provides extremely precise rotational rate information, in part because of its lack of cross-axis sensitivity to vibration, acceleration, and shock. Unlike the classic spinning mass gyroscope or resonant mechanical gyroscopes, the fog has no moving parts and doesn't rely on inertial resistance to movement. Hence, the fog is an excellent alternative to a mechanical gyroscope. Because of their intrinsic reliability and long lifetime, fogs are used for high-performance space applications and military inertial navigation systems. The FOG typically shows a higher resolution than a ring laser gyroscope. Compared with mechanical or ring laser gyroscope, fog is the best choice to replace them with the following characteristics. 1. There are few parts, the instrument is firm and stable, and it has a strong resistance to shock and anti-acceleration. 2. The length of wound fiber is longer so that the detection sensitivity and resolution are several orders of magnitude higher than those of the ring laser gyroscope. 3. No mechanical transmission parts there is no wear problem, and thus have a longer service life. 4. It is easy to adopt integrated optical circuit technology, the signal is stable, and can be directly used for digital output, and is connected with computer interface. 5. Different accuracy can be achieved by changing the length of fiber or the number of times the light propagates in the coil, and has a wider dynamic range. 6. The propagation time of coherent beam is short, so the principle can be instantaneously started without preheating. 7. It can be used together with a ring laser gyroscope to form a variety of sensors for inertial navigation systems, especially used as strap-bound inertial navigation systems sensors. 8. Simple structure, low price, small size, and lightweight. Beside using advanced gyroscopes, there are several other ways to increase missile accuracy, such as using high-energy density propellant and composite casings, which reduces weight and flight time to the target. This flight time reduction leaves less time for external effects acting on the missile body during the ballistic flight and therefore causing continuously error in the missile trajectory. However, the main contribution to increasing accuracy is and remains the use of sophisticated compact optical gyroscopes. In addition, it is possible for the built-in missile sensors to receive a GPS mid-course update in space, which increases accuracy, especially if the missile has a range of 2,000 kilometers or, in particular for the intermediate range missiles of 5,500 kilometers or intercontinental ballistic missiles. The longer the range of a missile, the more critical the sensor sensitivity requirements become. 
Even a small error can lead to a large deviation from the specified targets by hundreds of meters at such incredible ranges. Fog is a technology that the Iranians have mastered perfectly and can build on. Thanks for watching and see you next time.